Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. So today you can see I'm going to be talking about Droptober by Canva. So Canva has released Droptober, quite a few updates and I'm going to be exploring them. So if you're interested in finding out some of the new functions that Canva have brought out, then please keep on watching. Okay, so if you go to Canva's homepage, you'll see that they say Droptober is here and see the latest launches. So let's just go in and see the latest launches here. I've been exploring the Magic Ride and we had Magic Ride before, but now it's completely supercharged and you can actually put a lot more prompts in. So here's an example, personalized party swag, create customized swag for your party. They've got suggestions here. But let's just have a look and scroll down. So today, what I'm going to explore is probably the whiteboards and the tri charts. So let's go to the tri charts first, only because I like to use a lot of infographics and charts when I'm actually trying to explain and break down data. So I'm just gonna move myself out of the way. This is your standard template and let's just have a look. We're gonna click in here and we're going to have a look at the data. And you can see that we can actually change the data, we can clear the data, we can actually put values out of 10, label the activities, we can also add data from Google Sheets as well, or we can expand the data table. Let's go to edit. Was there anything in edit? Oh, I can actually change the type of graph. So let's look at an area graph, or let's look at a row chart, or let's look at a donut. So for me, this is gonna be really useful as somebody that does create a lot of charts to summarize data and using charts to help give us insights. This is this fun new functionality is absolutely wonderful. And you can see that I can change all of the different colors of the charts here too. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the homepage. And the other thing that I wanted to explore with you was the try whiteboards. So I'm gonna move over here and I've heard that we can actually start. You, and, and because it's Droptober, you'll see the little uh, drum roll before it starts. And then there's a little explanation as well at the side. So I can explain how to use Canva. We can actually start sorting them. Okay, so I've just, um, so let me just give a little demonstration. We're gonna select everything here. And then you can see if we press the three dots, we can actually lock them. We can sort them. That's the new function. I'm just going to sort by color. Lovely. And so if I was using this with teachers or with students, I would have different groups perhaps use a color code for different concepts. It could be conceptual lenses. And if I had the entire group uh, use this big whiteboard canvas on Canva, then we could actually start generating, sorting, connecting, and then elaborating as well. So we can use that lovely visible thinking routine. Now let's go back and see what else there is. So I'm just going to show you some of the highlights. Everyone's talking about adding Disney content to your designs, but just be aware that's copyrighted. And so we can't use any of those designs for commercial purposes, only for personal use. But here we've got interactive charts. We've had a look at the tri the we've looked at the whiteboards. There's animation effects. So I used to always download my templates and still use PowerPoint so that I could have really specific animations that I wanted. But these advanced animation effects are actually insane and really bring your presentations to life. We've got the high, so over here, let me just scroll over here. We've got create high production videos with an artist. Make your design sing with popular music tracks, but I do recommend that you look at the terms of use because some of these will not be able to be used for commercial purposes. And you can see that this is only available on the pro account. We've got design with diversity, which has got a lot more pictures that represent our actual population, our global population. And then I haven't actually had have to look at the Try Small Business Work Kit, but I'm gonna explore that in another video. There's a student work kit and then the teacher work kit. Let's just click on that because I'm quite interested. And it says how they work. Okay, specialized templates. Customize designs, invite your team. Okay, so that's, that's just a little description. And then we have Canva work kits for elementary teachers. Oh, 
oh, this is interesting. Writing workshops, project-based learning. I'm going to click on that one. So, so if we have a look at project-based learning, there's some presentations with some snazzy, I can see animations here and some video. So it looks like at the moment it's only uh, it's only work kits for elementary teachers, but I think that secondary teachers can use all of these because look, this one says from preschool to grade 12, ready to use education templates. So let's just click on and explore this. Okay, so getting starting on teaching. This is absolutely new, really exciting. We've got classroom rules. I always like to set up collaborative norms when we start with any cohort. Ready to teach lessons, I would recommend that we actually ensure that we edit these so that they are applicable to your context and, and your situation and for your students. We've got high quality education templates that are now in, a, in, in, in one place instead of searching. I used to search worksheets and then I'd search data. So now all of the teacher education materials are all in one place. It looks absolutely fabulous. So well done again, Canva, for these updates. It really does, I think, enhance learning when we use better visual communication with our students. And then we teach our students to use Canva so that they can actually visually communicate better as well. Thank you so much for joining me this week. And if you've explored any of the new functionalities, there's actually a lot more. There's a new translation tool uh, that's been improved. There's also a text to image tool because we know that Canva brought out Leonardo AI. So that's improved as well, which maybe I'll discuss in another video. But anyway, if you've tried any of the other functionalities, the new functions that Canva have released in October, Droctober they call it, then please put it in the comment section below. Thank you once again and I'll see you next time.